This is the Oklahoma Sports Podcast presented by OklahomaSports.net. Stay tuned for interviews and information about high school, college, and professional sports around the state of Oklahoma. Now here's your host, Joey McWilliams. Thanks again for stopping by the podcast. Our guest today is Mike Ross, the USAO Drovers baseball coach, whose Drovers are number nine in the country right now. You know, Coach Ross, springtime in recent years has been a fun time to be a Drovers fan with what you guys have been doing on the baseball diamond and, of course, what USAO has been doing on the softball diamond as well. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been pretty successful on both ends. Uh, obviously, they're uh, they're undefeated this year, uh, and I don't uh, foresee them getting beat anytime soon. Uh, they're pretty good, and and with our recent success over the past few years, it's uh, when the weather warms out, you can uh, come watch some good baseball and and softball. <laughs> Chickasha is definitely the place to be. You guys have won eight straight games, and that includes a midweek extra inning win over in-state competition in NCAA Division II Southwestern up in Weatherford yesterday. And uh, your drovers trailed pretty much the entire game until they got a run in the top of the ninth to tie things up at 7-all and just took over in the 10th inning for an 11-7 win. Talk about that win. Yeah, it was a good win for us. Uh, it's always a tough place to play when you go there. Zach Saunders does a great job with his teams over there. Uh, and it was just kind of one of those grinders. We weren't uh, we weren't very good early. We weren't very sharp. And, uh, you know, like you said, we trailed for most of the game. And uh, I just told them, you know, hey, the wind's blowing out 40. It only takes a couple swings and you're right back in the game. And so I was proud of them. Uh, we kind of I told them after the game we won that game on a couple of hustle plays. We beat out an infield single that ended up extending the inning, and we scored off of it. And uh, we actually got picked off and got in a rundown between first and second. And and Alamo didn't give up on the play and hustled and got back in safely. And those two little two little moments in the game that extended the innings for us really helped us big time. So it was a uh, it was a good win. Like I said, it was a grinder, but it it was fun. <laughs> It is the little things sometimes, Coach. I, that's that. Those are the important parts of the game that sometimes are missed, you know, in the box score. But but you remember them, and and your team can build off that. That's that's correct, exactly. Drovers twenty nine and ten right now. I mentioned eight straight wins, fifteen and three in the Sooner Athletic Conference right now. Well, you can do that when you have good players as well. One of those good players, Alex Sanchez. He was named the NAI National Player of the Week this week, and I want to read this stat line. He hit 727 for the week of April 1st through the 7th, had a slugging percentage of 2.273. It's pretty impressive. Eight for 11, eight runs scored, two doubles, five home runs, and 15 RBI. He was uh, able to get on base his first seven times to start the week, six of those with hits. And yesterday, of course, three for six with a double and three RBI. I mean, that's, that's a pretty impressive week, Coach. Yeah, you you know, to do that for a whole week uh, is pretty impressive. I'm not sure I've seen a week like that. You know, every now and again you'll have a guy with a, a great game or two, but to, to do it throughout a week, and he, he did it yesterday too. He came up with a couple of big hits. Uh, he's obviously seeing it pretty well right now, and, and his swing is good, and, and I hope he continues. That's all I can say. <laughs> I, I can imagine. Boy, if you keep up numbers like that, I mean, that's going to draw all kinds of attention. Speaking now with Coach Mike Ross, whose team is number nine in the NAI right now. And you all won yesterday, of course, in Southwestern. And, and it's it's midweek competition. It's, it's out of conference play. You sent seven different pitchers to the mound. I would imagine that you don't want to wear anyone down during a midweek game, especially with, you know, Sooner Athletic competition coming up tomorrow. Way- Wayland Baptist comes to Chickasha. Did that work out for you? Yeah, the uh, with the with the stretch we've got coming up with uh, Wayland Baptist and then Act Texas Wesleyan and then Southwestern Christian, uh, that's that's three weeks in a row that we're playing teams in the top five in the conference. It's going to be tough. And so our midweeks from here on out will probably be a scripted bullpen type deal where – you know, you go out, you get your one or two innings in, and then you're out of there. The most important thing is for our guys to be healthy in May. Uh, obviously, everything leading into the conference tournament or the national tournament, you're playing for seeding right now. But once the conference tournament starts, you know, you have to get in the championship game to win it. And you can't, you know, you can't do that if they're not healthy. And so uh, it's important to me right now that we, we're able to keep some pitch counts down. Uh, because, like I said, we've got some tough ones coming up that we're going to have to. Uh, ha- we'll be throwing a lot of pressure pitches in tight ball games, and, and that can wear you down. So I've got to got to save as many of them as I can on Tuesdays. We've got to play on Tuesdays, but definitely don't want to wear anybody out 
and uh, have them tired in, in the month of May. I know you set goals each year, Coach, and, and I know that the postseason is never a given, but right now where you are as the season is winding down, it looks like you will be playing the postseason again. In the last three years, the Drovers have been to the NAI tournament each of those three years and the World Series twice, 133 and 35 during that stretch. The program really appears to be in the right place now. Yeah, it's. Uh, I, I didn't even know those numbers. Those are those are pretty good. I wouldn't even <laughs> have thought they were that good. Um, yeah, I mean, congratulations, just, uh, coach. You, you've hey, done well. Hey, hey, thank you, thank you. But uh, no, it's 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 kudos to our players. Obviously, as a coach, you know your job is to go out and find good players and try to put them in the right position. But you know, once once it's game time, it's it's all about them and and their ability to go out and execute and and play the game hard and and. You know, focus on the mission or the task at hand uh, on any given day, and so you know the uh, the success we've had is is has been because of our players and and what they've done here, and I'm I'm proud of those numbers and and proud of our guys. Twelve games left on the schedule in the regular season. You talked about a couple of the teams that you'll be facing. Ten of those games are against Sooner Athletic Conference opponents. What's your take on the team then as the season winds down and you head toward the postseason? Well, I think we're playing pretty good right now. Um, our pitchers have been good all year. Our, our three conference arms uh, have done done their job as far as keeping us in every game or giving us chances to win. And offensively, I think we're starting to swing it a little bit better. So I like where we're at. Uh, I think we still need to play with a little bit more energy because it's going to take some energy these next three weeks. Um, there's there's no days off basically at this point and so that's the hard part of a baseball season when you've got 55 of them uh you got to hook up for every one because if you lose any now it, it can definitely come back to bite you so i like where we're at uh, um i think we're we're pretty healthy we've overcome a couple of injuries here in the last couple of weeks and so hopefully we can continue to play well and and uh you know keep this thing rolling Again, the Drovers 15-3 and in the Sooner Athletic Conference and currently at the top of the league standings and headed toward the postseason once again. Coach Mike Ross, thank you very much for taking time with us today on the Oklahoma Sports Podcast and success to you as the season winds down, and we look forward to another lengthy postseason run. Well, I really appreciate you having me, and thank you for everything you do for Oklahoma sports. Thank you.